Hi there and welcome to your yoga class. Today we're going to be doing The Snail and the Whale. What a lovely book it is by Julia Donaldson and illustrated by Axel Scheffler because the pictures are very pretty, aren't they? So we're going to start by singing our song like we normally do. So we're going to pat our knees and we're going to sing. If you don't know the words, just pat your knees, that's fine. Are we ready? One, two, three. Say hello and namaste, time for fun and yoga play. Am I ready? Yes I am, sitting on my mat. Well done. And now we get out our little yoga friend. Yes we do, he's in his little sleeping bag here that's lovely and sparkly. And we're going to shout on him. His name is Om and we're going to shout on him after three. One, two, three. Um, that's it. Let's see if you'll come out and see us. That's it. Oh, here he is, our little yoga dog, and he watches all our yoga, don't we? And he really, really likes books. It's his favourite thing to do is reading, apart from eating. He really, really likes reading as well. So he's going to sit on his mat, his own special yoga mat just there, and watch all of our yoga, okay? One more thing to do before we start. We are going to cross our legs, hands at our heart, and we're going to say namaste, because that's the word that unlocks our adventure. Are you ready? One, two, three. Three, namaste. Lovely. So, the snail and the whale. So, we've got two creatures here. We're going to do a snail pose first because it starts with the snail, doesn't it? So, we're going to come into snail pose, which means coming onto your knees, putting your bottom back and tucking your head into snail pose. Oh, lovely. And come, keep your body nice and tight and small. And the snail lives on a big black rock, doesn't he, down at the dock? So he slithers all over this big black rock. Let's do some slithering. Hands onto the floor, head down, and we're going to slither up just like a wee snail, that's it. And what does the snail do? He looks at all the boats in the dock sailing out into the big blue sea, and he says, I wish I could sail out into the big blue sea. So let's do some boat poses. Let's sit in our bottom, put your hands behind you, lift up one foot, two feet, and then maybe two hands. You can keep your hands on the floor if you want. Keep those knees nice and close. That's it, no lazy slumpy backs, nice high chest, that's it. Ah, oh, and then coming down, boat pose needs a lot of, a lot of the muscles in your tummy, doesn't it? So, this little snail wants to go and sail around the world. So the clever little snail ha had ants in his pants and he was desperate to go. So he wrote a message on the rock saying, lift wanted around the world. So let's draw as if we're writing on the rock with one hand. That's it. If you know how to write all of that, you can write it. Otherwise, just do circles. And we're going to do more circles as if we're writing on the rock. And luckily for him, somebody saw his message. Now, who saw it? It was the whale that saw the message. So we're going to do whale pose. So let's come down on our backs and keep your knees nice and bent. Put your hands on the floor and you're going to push your bottom up. And you can see you get a wee bit of a hump there because it's a big humpback whale, isn't it? With a very big tail. And that's what the snail climbs onto. So lower back down gently. And the snail and the whale go on an adventure, don't they? Well, it was kind of the whale. They go to very, very icy waters, first of all, where there's big icebergs, those big icy things that sit on the water. So like, you put your legs apart, hands up to the top, well, big, big icy waters there. And then they went to see beaches and far off lands where there was palm trees. Let's stand up nice and tall. And you're going to put your hands up there, hold on to one of your wrists with one hand and bend over like a palm tree. That's it. Come up to the middle, hold on to the other one now and bend over that way. And you can wiggle your fingers as if you're a palm tree as well. And they had so much fun in the frolicking foam because there was big waves, wasn't there? So let's do wavy arms. So let's do this. Oh, that's it. Or you could even put them up in the air. Nice, curly, wavy arms. Wonderful waves. That's it. And they saw lots and lots of things in their travels. They saw lots of fish, didn't they? So let's come down into fish pose. Put your legs out straight. Go onto your elbows, that's it. And we're going to pop our stomachs up to the ceiling just like this. Boop, 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 boop. That's it. 
That's your fish pose and point your toes as well if you want to. And they also saw some sharks, that's right. So let's come onto our front this time. You're going to clasp your hands behind your back, ply with your face on the floor, and then come up with your big shark fin at the back. That's it. Lovely big shark fins, just as far as you can manage. Lovely, so they saw all these, some of them scary things, but do you know the snail never left his tail? The whale was such a good boat for the sail, wasn't he? He took him all over the place. And they went through lots of different weather as well. They went through big thunderstorms. Let's stand up. That's right, put your hands apart and do lots of wind with your hands. So if you do this with your hands, can you feel the wind? underneath your hands and do you know what you can make wind with your fingers as well put your foot can you do this with your fingers it can be quite hard but if you can do that with your fingers bring them up to your mouth not touching them but very close and go and feel and hear the wind on your fingers so they went very, very far, didn't they? And eventually, they came quite close to land. There was lots of people, there was lots of speedboats, and it caused the whale to feel a little bit confused, didn't it? So, we're gonna come into whale pose again. That's it, put your feet on the floor, and remember, bend your back right up. And because there was so many people swimming, and speedboats, and surfers, let's come into swimmer's pose. Onto your front, and we're going to kick our legs. That's it, and swim, swim, swim. It caused the whale to get a little bit confused, and he swam far too close to the shore. That's right. So he was lying on the shore, but the tide went out, which means all the water went out and left the whale on the shore. So the snail says, quick, off the sand, get back to the sea. And the whale said, I can't, I'm really sorry, I'm really stuck. So the snail felt very upset for the whale and he felt very small and very useless because he says, I'm only this size and the whale is huge. So let's come into snail pose. And the snail sat thinking for a wee second and he said, the whale has helped me so much, I must help the whale as well. So I will not fail, said the snail. So the little snail came up with a plan. He found a schoolhouse, that's right, and the school bell was ringing. So let's do a big school bell, legs apart, hands up, and we're gonna go dong, dong, that's it. And the teacher and all the children were in the class, but the snail had a plan. He went up to the whiteboard and wrote on the whiteboard. So remember how we wrote before? We did big circles with our hand, or if you know how to spell, you can say, save the whale. Can you write save the whale on one hand? And then you need to use the other hand as well. So you can do big circles or you can actually write save the whale. And so the teacher went, oh, oh, what whale? And what do we need to save? So they all rushed into action. The teacher and the children ran to the beach. Let's do some running. Stand up and we're gonna run. Oh, let's go and save the whale. They call the fire engine as well. So let's sit down and call the fire brigade. Put your feet out, pick up your telephone, that's it, and go beep, 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 999, and call and say, hello, there's a whale stuck somewhere. I think it's on the beach. So let's put your phone down again, and let's call the Coast Guard this time. Beep, 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 <gasps> quick, come and help us. This poor whale is in trouble and needs our help. So everybody came rushing, and there was helicopters too. So let's stand up, we're gonna stand with her. Feet together, bend your knees, that's it. Hands out to the side and do our helicopter pose, that's it. Very nice gentle twists from side to side. And they were spraying water all over the whale. So we're gonna sit and we're gonna take our hoses and psh, up into the air and let's see your water, that's it. So get your hose again up into the air, spray the water to keep the whale nice and cool and wet so that it doesn't get too unwell. And what they do is they do some digging as well. So if we dig, that might help the whale get out as well. So let's stand with our feet apart, get your spade, and we're gonna dig, whoosh, dig, whoosh, and do it to the other side as well. So get your spade, and we're gonna dig to the other side, whoosh, and throw the sand 
over your shoulder. That's it. And then all of a sudden, the tide is coming in. Is the wheel going to be saved? <gasps> And thankfully the wheel starts to move. Let's come into wheel pose again. And all the villagers, that's it, put your bottom up, shout, hooray! That's lovely that everyone has come to help, but they only came to help because of the little snail that was so clever. So the snail and the whale, they, they went back home and they told all the other snail friends about their travels, about the sun and the palm trees and the icebergs. And of course, they told them about how the snail managed to save the whale. And that encouraged all the other little snails to climb on to the whale's tail. And then they went for an adventure too. And they lay on the snail's tail in the lovely sunshine. So let's lie back with our arms and legs out as if you're a snail on the whale's tail and they all went off for an adventure all together. So let's lie here and shut our eyes. Take a nice big deep breath. And we're gonna think about how kind the whale was because he invited the snail along to hitch a ride on his tail, didn't he? and about all the super cool things that they saw and how the, whale thought, how the whale got stuck and how the snail thought he couldn't save him because he was ever so small. Think about the size of a snail, which is tiny, and the size of a whale, which is really big. But rather than feeling like he had to give up, the snail decided he was going to help no matter what and managed to get everyone else to help and the whale and all the snails lived happily ever after. So it just goes to show you should always try, no matter what size you are, you can always help somebody that needs help, can't you? So wriggling our fingers and our toes, we're going to bend our knees, we're going to roll over to our side and we're going to sit up really slowly because it's very relaxing being in the snail's tail being in a, a whale's tail, you know. Don't want you falling asleep on the whale's tail. So let's sit up and say our magic yoga word again. Hands to your heart, that's it. Take a nice deep breath in. And we're gonna say namaste. Are you ready? One, two, three. Namaste. Wonderful, that was so good. Let's see what Om thought of this. I always like to hear what Om thinks of our yoga. So he says our yoga was excellent. And his favourite bit was the beach. Yeah, although he didn't like the wheel getting stuck. Om loves a beach, don't you? Chasing sticks and going in the water. That's right. But yes, he loved your yoga and he loved the story as well. And I hope to see you again mm -hmm, for more yoga the next time. See you later. <laughs>